Yes, Puller, I am a selfish piece of turd smashing you for extra lives. It's Sensei Mewtwo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, back for some more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. In the last episode, we finished Warp Room 1. In this episode, I'm trying a new recording setup today. Like, what I've done is I've hotwired the AV ports on my Dazzle so that some of the audio would come out of my TV and we wouldn't have these audio problems anymore. We'll see how well it works this episode, and if it doesn't work very well, then I'll just go back to my old recording setup. But hopefully this will eliminate some of the audio errors I've been having. So without further ado, let's get started with Snowbiz. And this is another level like Snow Go, obviously. You'll see these harder versions of er earlier levels quite a bit. I mean, they're not all this, and wow, way to die right off the bat. Barely a minute into the video. Let's see. Let's avoid the supposedly predatory penguins as discussed earlier. I don't know, I still don't know what they want with bandicoots, but who cares? I have passed you and it's over. We got it. One fruit. I thought it was an extra life. Oh well. Let's see. Now the penguins are sliding down the hill. Oh. Wow, I'm like dying of the stupidest stuff right now, aren't I? That's a wonderful sign of things to come in this level. Because this level is going to be an interesting one. We've got a challenge area we have to do in this level. And we have to do both the, cha the challenge area in order to get the box gem in this level. Come on, penguins. I don't need you in my way causing doom for why you do- that was kind of a weird step on that platform there. Error! Oh! Forgot about those guys. Stupid porcupines and your spikes of turning me into a stuck pig. What sense did that make? Oh well. Come on you, I'm going to defeat you. Die. Oh, Nelly. I'll be really cautious right now because I'm dying like the stupidest things. Oh, and we get to start the challenge area already grand. Here we go, guys. Here comes the part where Sensei dies a lot. And maybe even has a psychedelic freak out. As you can see, we've got boxes here, so it's actually necessary to go into this challenge area, and you do need the red gem to enter this challenge area. Luckily I was able to glitch it so that I would get the red gem a lot earlier than I was supposed to. So we can do this now. Whoa! Whoa! Hold the phone there. You don't need to kill the enemies. While well, it may occasionally be fun to, it's not necessary. At any rate, let's destroy all this stuff to the epic music. Boom! And I don't know why those don't trigger the exclamation mark box. I've always wondered that ever since I was little. Now we can jump on these steel crates. I don't think I really explained. The steel crates don't count towards your crate count. Yep. Yeah. The moment I try to start explaining things, I die again. At any rate, the steel crates don't really count towards your crate count since they're impossible to destroy, so don't worry about them. You don't have to trigger any... You have to find a way to destroy the steel crates. Whoa! Oh! Why am I having so much trouble in this recording? Oh, let's... Get all these destroyed again. Man, maybe I should come back to an Aku. Nah, that's what the losers do. I am not a loser. Am I? Am I? 
At any rate, let's not fail at this this time. There we go, I guess that's kind of a useful thing to do is spin on top of a crate so that you don't bounce anymore. Boom! Penguin, I blow you to bloody bits. And this probably wasn't a good idea, there goes that light. Oh well. It's not like we need it, we have like 37 lives, we're not exactly in a deficit of lives right now. You never really are in this game, this game gives you so many opportunities for lives. If I haven't said it yet, then I'll say it now. I probably will have 99 lives at the end of the LP. In fact, I'll probably have 99 lives pretty soon if I don't suffer from the Let's Play curse too awful much. Let's go these Wump Fruit. Ah, I love this setup. I really hope it's coming out good on the sound in the actual video. Because what I've done with the hot wiring is only the red cord is actually connected to the capture card right now and I have the white one connected to the TV so that I can hear the audio at all times. You know, that way I can actually hear what I'm doing and hear cutscenes and things like that. Because I know the audio, when it cuts out on the capture card, you guys can still hear it. But it's annoying for me when I can't hear it, so... I'm going to try this out, and if it doesn't work, then I'll just have to live with not being able to hear, but... We're going to see if this creates any better quality, and I mean, it's not like I'm... It's not like it's probably going to destroy the sound in every way, because, I mean, it still has the other cord hooked to it, and this is a PlayStation 1 game, so it's probably mono anyway, but... Anyway, kind of navigating through this stressful area. Yes, porcupine of killing me a lot. You die, because I don't like you. Oh! Oh, we're done. We are done with that. I am so happy to be out of there. Okay. We didn't get a gem for that. I don't think there was supposed to be a gem for that, though. I think that's just necessary to get the boxes. Pro! No! Luckily, if you miss these boxes on this ice area, you can slide back up. Pro! Like so, because I keep missing... Wow, my timing is just horrible. Come on! There we go. Why am I having so much trouble this recording? I was doing perfectly last recording. Oh, what? 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 Why did that happen? Oh, now I'm all the way back. Oh. That makes me angry. That makes me angry, and when I'm angry, I tend to use Rasengan on things. Actually, no, that's impossible in real life, but... I would gladly like to Rasengan the game disc right now. Because that was not supposed to happen. I don't know why that happened, I've never, ever once had that happen to me before. It's supposed to, like, go back up and stay there for, like, a second. Oh, man. I am dying to the stupidest things in this recording. What the heck? <laughs> this is going to drive me crazy. Remember what I told you in a, way back in episode 1 about nitros exploding in your face? And how it's generally not a thing you want? Now you know why. Okay. Let's go back there again. If I start failing at this too much, I'll just start cutting, but I don't want to, like, butcher it up or anything. 
Oh man, oh man, this is gonna be a long episode, folks. Ten minutes into the recording, and we haven't gotten by the first level yet. I don't think we are even halfway right now. Ugh. This episode is going to be painful, it seems like. Especially since we have to do the air crash level next, and I don't like that level one bit. Oh, okay. Oh, such stress with icicles falling on me. You don't want the icicles to fall on you, in case you couldn't infer that, because icicles, when falling from ceilings, tend to impale you. And that's not something you want, either. You don't want things to explode in your face nor do you want things to impale you in the top of your head. That tends to be very painful. Okay, let's not die this time to stupid stuff. Like, glitching, falling down platform things. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, get the box. There we go. Oh, here we go. Ugh. Okay. No! That was close. Made it to the checkpoint, thank god. Oh, predatory seals! More predatory seals going back and forward. Soon the skunks will be complaining about how they've had to do this for ten years. Back and forward, back and forward. What the heck is compelling these logs and stone pillars and things to fall on my head anyway? What is this madness? Here we are in the bonus area. Considering how well I've been doing in the actual level, I don't expect very much better from this. And actually, this is one of the easier bonus areas. Let's just get all this, make all these boxes appear, backtrack, get this. Oh, the bonus area is going much better than everything else right now. Oh, shoot, we got this part. Oh. Pain, suffering, TNT's getting ready to explode, but we're good. I'll destroy all the boxes but one, sadly. Whoa, Nelly! That was a bad idea. Oh. <sighs> This is like this stressful episode, guys. I don't know what it is. Happy New Year, by the way, guys. This is being recorded on July 1st, 2012. Oh. Have we seen these before? I don't think we have these. Rolling wheels of perfect balance. And also smashing crash. You don't want to get run over by those, or Crash Bandicoot is going to look like a squished out toothpaste. And that can generally hurt a lot. Well, I don't know if it would hurt a lot, I don't know if it would hurt, or you would just be killed instantly, but... Suppose you'd just be killed instantly and it wouldn't hurt at all. Get away from me, Pink Bandicoot eating penguins. You have yet to explain to me why you do this. Oh, we get the gem. Did we even get the crystal? Where's the crystal? Oh, we did get the crystal. Okay, I didn't know this when we did. Oh. Thank God we're out of that level. That took most of the episode. We're 14 minutes into the recording, and we just beat the first level. Oh. This is going to be a fun one, guys. Do I want to do Air Crash right now, or should I just end the episode? No, let's... Let's be a man, or Bandicoot, sent, halfway sentient, derpish Bandicoot. Actually start Air Crash. We aren't going to be able to get the box gem in this level yet, because we actually have to go to the secret warp room. There are six warp rooms, in fact. You figure there's, you know, there's 25 levels in this game because there's 25 crystals. 
So, five warp rooms, right? There's five levels in each warp room. Well, there's actually a sixth warp room, secret one. And there's actually an entrance to this warp room in this level. Although, we don't need to go there. Because, basically, when you enter the secret warp room, each way you get into the secret warp room unlocks a different portal in the secret warp room. And the way into the secret portal in this warp room unlocks the way to the red gem, which we already have. So, we don't need to do that, so I won't. Anyway, if you want to know how to get to the secret warp room, the secret warp room's on that platform over there. You have to jump across these boxes I'm destroying now, and land on that. And it will take you to the secret warp room where you can get the red gem and snow go if you decided not to glitch the game like I did. Let's see. I think I lost the audio and the TV. Dang it. Oh, I don't need it. I don't need the audio. Ow. Not right now. Don't need to hear cutscenes or anything. Whoa. Let's stop rushing. Okay. I am kind of concerned why I can't hear the audio even if I did hotwire on my TV right now. Oh. That's kind of annoying. Oh well, we'll just bounce across all this stuff and activate stuff early. We don't need those boxes that are invisible right now. Whoa, long arc. And I missed some of the one fruit, but oh well, I don't think I've ever gotten all the one fruit in that arc once. Let's see. While we cannot get the box gem, I don't really even know why I'm trying for it right now, because we can't. Oh, I guess the Wumpa fruit helps. We can do the challenge area gem here, which is right here, as you can see. In order to activate these platforms, the skull and crossbones on them, you have to not die in the level before reaching them. And here we are in the air crash challenge area. It's so sad that I don't get to hear the epic music right now. The challenge area music for air crash is really epic in my opinion. Alright, here comes this. I want to wait until the last second to jump here. Crow! There we go. Now, look, we've got double Aku here to help us across the mines and nitros that I hate trying to avoid. And that's it. And there's a level exit in this challenge area. So we'll grab our gem and get out. We're now 18 minutes into the recording. I guess I could continue on. You know, the next level is Barret, so Barret doesn't take very long to beat. Of course, watch me eat those words. Uh, yes, Crash, hurry up and finish your dance thing. And now, as if jumping on Polar's head in the last episode for lives wasn't bad enough, now we are actually going to forcefully ride his back. And I mean, Crash is just a skimpy little thing, but still. Horror has got to be exhausted at the end of this level. Let's see. Let's hope I don't need the sound for this level. Because there are some sound cues that I'm probably going to miss. Oh! Dang it! Luckily, if you miss a box, all you have to do is kill yourself. And the boxes in these levels can be really challenging, so... Be awful careful. The controls of Polar, by the way, are just X to jump. You can move around, you can't stop Polar. But you can press R1 to get a little speed boost that also helps you jump 
certain gaps. Oh. No. See, and then dashing also kills enemies. No, I got the checkpoint. Why did I get the checkpoint? Oh, man. Hang on, I'm gonna exit this level and do some cutting, and that will actually give me an opportunity to try and fix my audio, so... See you guys in a second. Alright. Dang it. No. Oh, missed the checkpoint. Good. This is gonna be interesting. These are like some of the hardest boxes to get. And it turned out that my audio didn't really cut out, per se. It's just my TV turned off on its own because it's not getting a video signal right now. Which means it will turn itself off after a while to try and conserve power. I just have to turn that setting off the next time I get to that. Oh, I keep missing that! Oh! Just grab this extra life every time we do this. So that we're not, like, throwing too many lives down the drain. Come on, let's do it! I want to get you! You will become mine, I will win. I will persist until I get you, so you may as well become mine so that things don't take as long as I don't go as insane. Yes, finally, okay. Oh, we only get the life. I am so good at this game, hang on. Got that box. Die, predatory seals. I'm very mad right now. Okay. Anyway, if I did cut that part of the video out, then I'll say it again. The audio isn't really cutting out for me anymore, more than my TV is just turning off because it's not getting a visual sing signal. You know, maybe I should just hook up another game system to it and turn it on. Just so that it has a visual and therefore won't try to cut out. Man, this hot wiring that I'm doing right now is filled my room with cords. My room is an absolute mess right now. Only you guys didn't ask. Oh, man. There's more boxes I hate. I love this level. It's just so... It's so short, yet the box gem in this level is so dang difficult. Alright, come on, we can do this. We can do this! I have faith in myself. And you guys are... putting your faith in me. Yes! Look who just won life, the universe, and everything. Destroy the nitros, and we'll pick up our gem. Oh boy. Take that, Naughty Dog. I beat you. I beat your level. What can you say to that, huh? What can you say to that? Yeah, victory dance. You have every right to do your victory dance now, Crash. You just won Wipe the Universe and everything, which is amazing for as derpy a creature as you are. No offense. Oh, man. Crash, crush. There is a level I don't feel like doing in this episode. And the eel deal isn't exactly short. So, I think we're going to call the episode here. I mean, it is 25 minutes into the recording. This is a really long episode. I do have some cutting to do, but not much. So yeah, enjoy the long episode again today, guys. This is Sensei Mewtwo 12345 ending this game in lesson. And I shouldn't have used the mouse pad.